riders, ribbons and royal pipe bands. It was an early start for the Callants, who received a rosette from the Lady Provost this morning, before the pinnacle moment of the fierce battle cry. Gallants I don't really remember much of it, to be honest. It's a bit of a blur just now. Um, when I kind of sat back down in my stirrups and everyone, uh, when I sat back down in my saddle and everyone uh, started cheering, it kind of all hit me and it kind of brought it home that that's, that's what it's all about. I the Carlton's done a wonderful job. Um, it runs in the family. His father was, ex, he's an ex-Carlton, he was Carlton in 1990. Um, so he's, he's well steeped in festival history. And he's, he's done a great job. Yeah, he's done really well. A favourite part of the day for many was when the ride out crossed the River Jed. <laughs> My favourite part about the Jed coming right in is the horses and they go they have ride outs and one of them they go through the water. I like when they go through the water because I like when they splash, I like seeing the horses. Because um, it's fun watching them um, going through the water and everything. Uh, well it's quite nice for me because my great papa used to be the Herald. So it's like a memory from him. And it's a hit with the adults too. The horse is going through the water. This is the first time we've seen it in Jebra. We've just moved there. And the whole atmosphere of the town is amazing. It's our very first festival. We just moved to Jed in February. And um, it was actually spectacular to see all the tradition and culture. But my favourite part of festival is in the morning when the Callan gets up on his horse and shouts, Jether's here. It makes me emotional. Yeah. It's that silence before he stands yeah. up that's really, like, you could hear a pin drop. It's so um, lovely to watch. Um, but my favourite is probably when they go through the water um, and they come back from Fernihurst and everybody looks a bit tired and then they get a, a big cheer at the water. You know, the uh, cavalcade, the bands, we are, we are very blessed in Jedburgh to have two of the best bands, probably in, in the Scottish borders, if not, if not Scotland. But not all the children were impressed with the ride out. Their attentions were elsewhere. The horse is going through the water. Uh, bounce the castle. Bounce the castle. What did you like, darling? The, bag. the bagpipes, that's right, the bagpipes. The, the horses. Returning to the town centre, the Callant handed back the standard to the Provost, bringing an end to the day's ride out. A prominent moment for many. Oh, just that bit right there when he hands back the flag and the axes and it's, that's him steps doing as his role as Colin to become an ex Colin. It doesn't end here. The children's fancy dress parade returns this year before the Callants Ball rounds off yet another year of the Gerard Callants Festival. Isla Todd, ITV News, Jedburgh.